Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And before I left Boston, I had to stop at Samuel Adams again and do another tour, but this one's different. It's not the cheese and beer one. It was the signature experience. This is Chrissy. She's our tour guide for this wonderful experience. So along with our first beer sample, she is explaining the history of Samuel Adams and how the founder was a Harvard grad with a passionate hobby of making his great-grandfather's pre-prohibition era lager recipe, and how by starting out as a door-to-door -door salesman, he grew the empire that is Samuel Adams today. She is also explaining the basic steps, ingredients, and type of different types of beer there are. But for our tour, let's uh, move on to our next beer. So we collect our free shot glass, sample glass, and we're ushered on into our next room to learn more about uh, the beer appraising technique process. For our next two beers, each table is given our own pitcher to share. So for the $10 price tag of this tour, we're getting way more than our money is worth. And a special thank you to the guy who's pouring the beer. The first tip she gives us is to look for clarity. And we do this by putting two fingers behind the beer to see how well we can see through the beer. Secondly, she instructs us to cover our beer and stir it up a bit and still a sniff. Yeah, it's hopsy. Lastly, she instructs us to take a sip. The two sips she wants us to try are one, chewing the beer to really get a full taste, and two, take it like a shot and don't let it rest on your palate. Surprisingly, it's two different tastes. She said it's a similar taste comparison between drinking a less cold beer and drinking an ice cold beer. The cold shocks your palate so you don't taste it as much. Our third beer is a super light beer that I honestly can't taste after having a few samples of the other glasses of darker lager. Next she passes around an empty Utopia bottle, I believe it's called, and explains the origins and exclusivity of it to us. We don't get to taste it, but we do get to smell the bottle and it smells like pancakes. Now let's listen to Christy tell us about the design and specialization of the Samuel Adams beer glass. Uh, cool. There's also the first half of our built-in koozie for this glass, right? I'm gonna taper down here. Tend to do with a full glass, 60% of your beer will be above your hand at all times. Uh, that's going to slow down the heat exchange between your hand and the beer, keeping it tasting the right way for longer. Uh, if you've ever done like the red solo cup effect, right? You're open to <laughs> that glass, it's not going to stay pretty consistent. It gets really warm really quick, it's not enjoyable. It's going to keep it from warming up too quick. Uh, but the coolest part, laser etched crack in the bottom, there's a little circle etched in there. All right, we all see it, do we all believe them? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're also trusting, that's great. Uh, that is our nucleation site. It is probably the coolest part of this glass. It's a laser etched false crack in the bottom. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to pool CO2. Uh, Corporations always trying to escape your beer. It's the same reason that Red Solo Cup, right? Just goes all the way at the top. You have flat beer, like basically the second you enjoy it, right? Uh, this is going to control the carbonation. It tries to escape. It sees this little crack in the bottom. It tries to go right through. It's not a real crack. It doesn't go all the way through. So it shoots those bubbles back up your beer, leaving a stream of bubbles, creating a foam head on all times of your glass. Foam is your friend when drinking beer. You have a friend that says they can pour a perfect pint, no foam. They're not your friend. Cut them off. They're, they, don't, they don't like you. Uh, foam is going to stop your beer from interacting with oxygen. Oxygen creates off flavors if you're skunking in your beer. That's what oxygen does. The two things that are going to affect beer are light and oxygen. We can protect it from that oxygen right by creating that foam head. Uh, it keeps it fresher for longer. Same reason, again, that red solo cup is very different that first sip from that last sip. Gonna be the oxygen. Uh, so it's a pretty cool box. Uh, they say you can't put a price on perfection. We did, it's 9.50 in the gift shop. So. <laughs> <laughs> I also, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I did hear this, so don't quote me on it. Uh, it was named the most stolen piece of glassware uh, in the country. Uh, people will have their favorite beer when they use a bar and be like, damn, it really, it really does work. <laughs> That's crazy. And with that, she leads us right into the gift shop. Like most breweries, parking here at Samuel Adams is a game of chance, so make sure you give yourself plenty of time to find parking.
Well, beer lovers, that's all for today's tour. And thank you so much, Chrissy, for this great experience. You were a fantastic tour guide. And for anyone else, if you happen to find yourself in Boston, I highly recommend taking one of these tours. You will not regret it. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone, and experiencing this adventure with me. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and uh, cheers!